Toshiba Electronic Devices and Storage Corporation E-Learning Basic Knowledge of Discrete Semiconductor Device Chapter 4 Local Power Supply ICs This video explains different types of power supply ICs, conditions of power supplies and equipment, and why point of load, PAL, power supplies are required. It also describes the operations of linear and switching regulators. Power Management IC Power management is a function to manage power supply to support multifunctionalization of equipment and power saving. This IC is called the Power Management IC. In addition to a simple linear regulator IC, a switching regulator IC, and a multifunctional system power supply IC, the power management IC includes a load switch IC that stops power supply to the load during standby and controls the power supply sequence. Example of power line structure in a system. Various kinds of power management ICs are used for the power supply and the equipment according to the specification required by the system. YPOL supply ICs are wanted. High precision and low noise power supplies required owing to low voltage and multifunctionalization of the LSI used. Meanwhile, because of long wiring in the circuit board, voltage drop and power supply noise due to crosstalk have become problems. For this application, the POL, point of load, power supply IC that generates and supplies voltage near the load end, near the circuit block to be used, is attracting attention. Types of local power supply ICs There are two types of local power supply ICs, one, linear type and, two, switching type. The circuit designer can maximize the performance of the equipment by appropriately selecting these power ICs and placing them in the appropriate place. Linear type Linear type includes a series regulator, typically LDO and three terminal regulator, and a shunt regulator. A low noise, high precision, local power supply can be easily and inexpensively produced with few external parts. However, losses are high, inefficient, and only step-down type can be used. In particular, shunt regulators are inefficient and tend not to be used nowadays. Switching type It is often called the DC-DC converter. Depending on the circuit configuration, either boost type or buck type can be used. Although the loss is low, high efficiency, external parts such as coil are necessary, and the circuit size becomes large and expensive. The input DC voltage is switched tilde 1 MHz to create a rectangular wave, and this rectangular wave is smoothed and converted to the desired DC voltage. Although the variety of ICs offered by our company is limited, we offer a wide variety of MOSFETs for use in DC-DC converter applications. Operation of Linear Regulators Series Regulators External parts are unnecessary as shown in the lower left figure. Input and output capacitors are necessary. The MOSFET operates as a variable resistor so that the output voltage becomes constant voltage. The potential difference V in minus V out, times input current, I in, between the drain and source of the MOSFET is a loss. For example, if the input is 5 volt and the output is 3 volt, the efficiency is 60%. It is used as a power supply for circuits requiring low noise and output voltage accuracy. Shunt regulators. The area surrounded by the dotted line shown in the lower right figure is the IC. It needs three external resistors. The built-in transistor operates as a variable resistor so that IK plus I out equal I and equal constant. As a result, the voltage generated at RSD becomes constant and the output voltage is made constant voltage. But in addition to the output current, a cathode current flowing through the transistor is required. Also, there is a voltage drop at the input side resistor RSD, which reduces the efficiency. It is used for low current, tilde 20 mA applications such as switching power supply reference voltage and switching power supply photocoupler driver. Operation of switching regulators There are two types of switching regulators. Buck converter. The figure below on the left shows the operation image. A rectangular wave is created by MOSFET repeating on and off. This wave is applied to the coil. A desired DC voltage can be obtained by smoothing, averaging, this rectangular wave. The output voltage value is determined by the duty ratio of the rectangular wave. Boost converter. As the figure below on the right shows, when the MOSFET is on, current of the coil mainly flows through the MOSFET. At this time, energy is accumulated in the coil. 
the coil operates so as to release the accumulated energy and suppress the change of the current. When the MOSFET turns off, the current flowing through the coil will lose the path up to now. However, due to the property of continuing the current of the coil, the current flows through the diode and the capacitor is charged. This causes voltage exceeding the input voltage to be generated. Functions of LDO 1. Under voltage lockout, UVLO. This function places the IC in the standby state when the input voltage drops below the specified input voltage so that the internal circuit becomes unstable and malfunction does not occur. 2. Current limit. This function protects against degradation and destruction due to heat generation of the device itself when the output terminal Vout goes into an unintentional short mode state. There are two types of overcurrent protection, the fold back type that simultaneously reduces the output current and output voltage, and the current limiter type that reduces the output voltage while keeping the output current constant. 3. Thermal shutdown, TSD. It is a circuit to prevent deterioration and destruction of the device because of remarkable ambient temperature rise, heat generation of the device itself due to unintentional high current load etc. When the specified temperature is detected by the internal temperature detection circuit, the output transistor is turned off. 4. Output Discharge When the output transistor is turned off, the terminal voltage of Vout may remain for a certain time depending on the load capacitance connected to the output terminal. This circuit rapidly discharges the charge accumulated on the load side and drops the Vout terminal voltage to near the IC ground. Load Switch IC the load switch IC is connected between the power supply and the load, IC or LSI. It is a power management IC that reduces power consumption by controlling on and off of power supply lines supplied to ICs and LSIs depending on the operating mode of the system. A similar switch can be configured with the mechanical relay or a discrete MOSFET, but the load switch IC has low power consumption and various protection functions built in, so that improvement of system reliability can be expected. Functions of Load Switch IC 1. Under Voltage Lockout, UVLO This function places the IC in the standby state when the input voltage drops below the specified input voltage so that the internal circuit becomes unstable and malfunction does not occur. 2. Thermal Shutdown, TSD It is a circuit to prevent deterioration and destruction of the device because of remarkable ambient temperature rise, heat generation of the device itself due to unintentional high current load etc. When the specified temperature is detected by the internal temperature detection circuit, the output transistor is turned off. 3. True Reverse Current Blocking When input voltage VIN becomes higher than output voltage VOUT, current flows back from VOUT pin to VIN pin. This function prevents reverse flow and protects the power supply etc. connected to the VIN terminal from deterioration and destruction. 4. Overcurrent Limit when the output terminal Vout becomes unintentionally shorted, it protects against deterioration and destruction due to the heat generation of the device itself. 5. Slew Rate Control Driver This circuit suppresses inrush current generated during switching transient. 6. Output Discharge In a general load switch circuit, when the output transistor is turned off, the terminal voltage of Vout may remain for a certain time depending on the load capacitance connected to the output terminal. This circuit rapidly discharges the charge accumulated on the load side and drops the VOUT terminal voltage to near the IC ground.